Welcome back to my channel. I am Christy. In today's video, we are doing some exploring. I think that when you live somewhere for a little while, you get so used to going to your favorite spots, as you should, because there are favorites for a reason. But I feel like we get so used to going to those places that we forget to make a concerted effort to go try places that are new or new to us. So we have lived in Raleigh for just over two years and we definitely have our list of favorites. I've actually shared those in a series on my channel that is ongoing. The Raleigh Food Diaries, I can link those below in the description and above. But in today's video, we're going to explore a little bit. We're gonna explore the Raleigh area, take a dip into the Cary area. And we're going to try a bunch of restaurants, coffee shops, bakeries, etc., that I've never been to before. And by try, I mean, I've already tried them and filmed them, but I wanna talk it through with you guys because I'm very passionate about food. I feel like especially when it comes to travel, the food and the local cuisine is one of my absolute favorite parts of traveling. So if you're planning to come to Raleigh, if you're looking to move to Raleigh, I wanted to make this video and continue this little series about the food in this area because there are some really awesome spots. I would like to preface this though by saying I'm not like a fancy food kind of gal. I am more of a off the beaten path, hole in the wall kind of person. I don't really go to fancy restaurants a lot or restaurants that are on like the hot list. Is that a thing? I sound like I'm hundred years old, the hot list. <laughs> but you know what I mean? They always put out these lists of like the best restaurants in the area and they're always like these like hip cool places. I don't really go to places like that. Um, I don't know why that makes me laugh to say it like that, but I don't really go to places like that. So on my channel in general, that's kind of what you're going to get is some more like down to earth off the beaten path kind of places. So. I'm very excited to share these places with you guys. Again, these are like not necessarily new places. These are just places I haven't gone to yet. So before we dive in, please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. I am also working on my upcoming newsletter. It is travel centric, but will feature some other little odds and ends as well. And I think it'll be really fun for you to receive weekly. So if you're interested, you wanna jump on that. I will have the link below in the description. And if you sign up now, you'll be signed up in time to receive the very first newsletter when it launches. Thrilling. One last little thing before we jump in. I have been filming clips for this video over the last few months. So I know at least one of these clips contains like Christmas decorations. And that is because I have been filming any new place that we've tried since basically December. So that is why you might see some Christmas and it's a little off season, but it's fine. Let's dive in. First up on the list is Street Tacos Cantina. This is a Mexican restaurant that obviously we had never been to before and we truly found this by doing a google search we have a couple mexican spots that we really love that are in the raleigh area and i've actually featured those before on my channel but we wanted to try something new so we went on google and we were like looking around and this place street tacos cantina had excellent reviews and so we were like let's go check it out the food was so good we got chips and guacamole also got some chips and queso i am a huge queso girly i love queso it's really one of my favorite foods it's sad that it's so unhealthy because if it wasn't unhealthy, I'd be like eating it every single week minimum. So anyway, their queso was very good. It was a very like liquidy queso, it was delicious. I got the chicken flautas. I love a flauta. I don't know like what it is about it. I think it's because it has like a little crispiness to the shell. I don't know, I just love a flauta. But I got those and they were divine. My husband got some sort of like chimichanga burrito situation. The reason I'm not telling you the name of it is because we actually don't know what the name of it is. He saw a picture of it on Yelp when we were like looking up places to go and we couldn't really tell what it was on the menu. When we showed them the picture, they did make it, but I actually don't know if it's still on their menu. The interior of the restaurant actually kind of reminds me of some of the Mexican spots we'd go to when we lived in Chicago. Chicago has such good Mexican food, you guys. Incredible. But anyway, really loved this place. Highly recommend checking them out. The next place on the list is Bright Spot Donuts. So this is a little donut shop. And historically, I'm not a big donut fan. I'm not really into donuts and cupcakes. I'm actually pretty picky about those because I don't like it when things are too sweet. I usually have a craving for a donut like once a year, literally. And so that happened recently. I was on Instagram and Bright Spot Donuts Instagram account was suggested to me and I was like, what is this? This looks so cute. So I went on their Instagram and creeped around and the donuts looked so good. So I had to go give them a try. They have the cutest little shop 
and they have a really nice little outdoor patio area. I got, I think one or two dozen donuts and I actually was taking them into the office to share the wealth with my coworkers. I got three of the donut flavors to try. I got the original glazed, I got the sugar and spice, and I got the chocolate glazed. They also have a specialty glazed one that's like a honey based glaze. And I don't know why that didn't speak to me. I probably should have tried it since it's like their original, but like just gives me an excuse to go back, you know? I was very drawn to those other three flavors. So we tried them, you guys, they were phenomenal. Like they were such good donuts. And I am, like I said, pretty picky about that because I just don't like it when like there's a lot going on. I don't like when it's too sweet, when there's too many fillings and toppings. And these were literally perfect. They were so good and the texture was spot on. The other thing that I actually really loved about this place is that I got a latte to try because I have this thing where it's not a thing, it's more like a theory. I have a theory that it's like super rare for a bakery to do coffee well. I feel like I go to so many bakeries and like the coffee or espresso drinks are just a miss. I actually feel like in Raleigh, they are like busting that theory wide open because there are so many bakeries that have good coffee. It's kind of wild. But Bright Spot Donuts did an amazing latte. They also do a house-made vanilla syrup and you can also get flavored with their house-made glazes that they use on their donuts. I did not try that. I tried the vanilla, which was chef's kiss. I don't know how the glazed ones would taste, but I'm willing to try it. So I think I'm gonna have to go back and try their like honey glaze. I think they have a different word for it, but like their honey glazed donut and try one of their glazed lattes because like what? I'm gonna be in a sugar coma, but I will try it for you guys to give the feedback. So it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Up next is one of my favorite discoveries in the last few months. So this is definitely the clip that I filmed around Christmas. As you will see, there is so much Christmas decor, but I have been to this place since then. And you guys, it is so good. So this next spot is Cafe Soul Cups, and this is a Korean cafe in Cary. They basically offer everything I could possibly want. They have coffee drinks. So they have like lattes. They have like fun Korean spins on lattes. They have amazing coffee alternative drinks. So they'll do like sparkling fruit aids, or they'll do kind of like a milk tea situation. And everything I've tried there is so good. And that's just the drinks. So let me tell you about the drinks I've had. First time I went there, I tried the Soul Coffee, which I had iced. And it's a mixture of condensed milk, regular milk, and their special house espresso blend. You guys, this was phenomenal. It was so good. I still think about it. Like I want to go there all the time. If I lived a little bit closer, I would go there all the time. I had that and it was amazing. I've also tried a non-coffee drink that they had. It was like a strawberry chocolate type drink and it was so good. I literally was like, what's happening? This is so good. So lots of really cool, unique options. And that is just the drinks. So their food menu, they do have a lot of sweet options. So they do have bingsu, which is a Korean shaved ice dessert, you guys. They have so many options and it is so freaking good. They also have croffles, which are like croissant waffles. And on this visit, I tried, I don't know the Korean name for it, but it's like taiyaki, the little stuffed like waffle fish kind of thing. And I feel like that was my least favorite thing that I've tried there. I just like didn't love those. I think that we tried a savory one that was like a pizza filling. And we also tried a sweet one that had Nutella filling. And I just feel like that was like my least favorite thing that we tried there. The other thing that they have there that I was so excited to try were their Korean corn dogs and they did not disappoint. Their Korean corn dog is so good. And I'm like 99% sure that they make everything in house there, which I think is kind of rare to find, especially in the Korean corn dog space, because a lot of them are chains in America. And I feel like a lot of them are just like probably made from frozen. I'm kind of making an assumption, but I would guess that's the case. And I think they make their own there. So the corn dog was so delicious. Again, still thinking about that too. I absolutely love Cafe Soul Cups. I feel like I could go back and try a different drink the next like 20 visits and just scratch the surface on their drink menu. I feel like they have so many unique offerings. I also really liked the vibe of the interior of the cafe. It's definitely a space that's cozy, like they want you to come and hang out, which I really like. It's very inviting. I just loved it there. I really, really liked it. Like that's one of my favorite places I've been to recently that was new to me. I wish that I lived closer so I could go more frequently, but I definitely have plans to go back again soon to to try something that I haven't tried yet. The next spot on the list is Miso Ramen Bar. I saw this place on Google and it had such good reviews that I knew we had to try it because I love ramen. I love Japanese food. So I was ready to party and we actually went Mother's Day weekend. We went on a Friday night and I will say, the exterior, I didn't like look at interior pictures of this place and it looks like it's like kind of like in a little strip 
So I did not really think it was gonna be like a hip happening place. Well, it was, and we had brought Kai, our nine month old baby with us, and it ended up being a way more like, I say hip, like I'm a hundred years old, but do you know what I mean? Like it just was way more of a vibe than I was expecting. So I don't know that that's somewhere that I would take him again because I feel like they had loud music. I think he was a little overstimulated. He was not the only baby there. Actually, there were other babies there. So I do think that it is like appropriate to take children there. It's not like this is like a like date night only kind of place, but I was like, oh wow, this is not what I was expecting. Like big, beautiful, full bar, like vibey music. So just wasn't what I was expecting, but I absolutely loved it. The inside of the restaurant is so cute. They really like made the space their own. Again, has a beautiful full bar, some really cool art on the walls. And I just really liked that. Like I was like, oh wait, this is like a little vibe. I like it. When we were there, we got two appetizers and a bowl of ramen to share. The food was phenomenal. The food was so good. I like cannot wait to take people there when they come to visit. So the appetizers that we shared were the pork belly fries, which honestly might have been the best thing that we had there. The pork belly fries were so good and so flavorful. They were delicious, absolutely delicious. We also got the karage wings, which again, were also incredible. Like they were so good. Like we demolished the appetizers. They were incredible. For our ramen, we got the classic tonkatsu ramen and it was amazing. Truly all of the food that we had there was so delicious. Highly recommend checking this place out, especially if you're looking for a place for a date night. Highly recommend Miso Ramen Bar. The next place that I tried out was Left Hook Coffee, which I had never heard of. My sister and I kind of stumbled upon this when she was visiting. We were looking for a coffee shop that I hadn't tried yet that we could go to. And Left Hook Coffee came up on the list. And I was like, I've never heard of this in my life. Let's go check out the scene. So it turns out that it is part of a restaurant called Gussie's. Like it's a little side venture, like part of the same little like restaurant, but it has a separate entrance. And it was the cutest little spot. And also I need to add Gussie's to the list because that place was hopping. There was a ton of people there and it looked super fun. So would like to try that. But anyway, Left Hook coffee cutest little spot i got an iced latte and it was delicious and i just really liked their cup i thought it was so cute i don't know i just really liked it it was a great coffee shop and i had never heard of it before so i wanted to share it here this next spot is a bakery and i'm almost embarrassed to say that i hadn't gone there yet because it is super well known in the area and the fact that i have not gone there in the over two years that i've lived here is a little shameful i am talking about bolted bread this bakery you guys <laughs> was so good and their coffee was so good. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I cannot believe that I hadn't been there. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I had heard of it, I knew about it. Why didn't I go? I don't know. But I went and checked out with my sister when she was visiting and then Barsh and I also went with Kai on a recent weekend. So when I went with the fam, we tried the everything croissant because we wanted to try a little savory option. I will say that when my sister and I went, we tried the ham and Greer croissant and that was life-changingly good. That was incredible. And I definitely preferred that one to the everything croissant. The everything croissant was good, but part of the problem was is that the everything seasoning on top kept falling off because obviously the croissant is very flaky. So the seasoning was stuck to the top layer of the croissant. So it kept falling off. So I feel like you didn't easily get that everything seasoning in every bite. So if I was gonna pick between the two, I would definitely pick the ham and Greer croissant because that one was incredible. We also got the chocolate croissant. What I loved about their chocolate croissant is that the chocolate is kind of melty. Oh, it was so good. I wish I had that right now, actually. That sounds really good. I'd actually give anything for their chocolate croissant right now. We also tried their lemon poppy seed bread, which Barish loved so much. I also really liked it. It was so good, but Barish demolished it. Like I got like two bites of it and he literally demolished it because it was that good. He loved it so much. Bolted Bread is another bakery that is just like proving us all wrong on my theory about the coffee because their coffee was amazing. Barsh and I both got lattes. I got a vanilla latte with their house made vanilla syrup. It was incredible. And Barish got one of their seasonal lattes, which I think might've been like a toasted black sesame vibe. I actually don't remember off the top of my head. If I remember, I'll put it here when I show it. But both of them were so good. So again, Raleigh is really crushing it with the bakery coffee shop combo. And I really appreciate it. The next spot is a little exciting because it's a food truck. I love a good food truck. So we tried out the Island Cafe food truck, which is Caribbean food. And the food was so good and so flavorful. We were blown away by how good it was. So what we tried at Island Cafe was their platter, which came with two sides. So for our sides, we got their seasoned rice and the macaroni and cheese. And then for like the main entree part, we got a split of half jerk chicken and half barbecue jerk chicken. 
life-changing. I know I've said that before, but you guys, the food was so good. The meat was so tender and so flavorful. We really liked both flavors, but Barish liked the jerk chicken best and I liked the barbecue jerk chicken. It just, it was all so good. The mac and cheese, can't even speak on it because it was so delicious and so cheesy. I absolutely loved it. The rice was delicious. And then we also tried their wings. And the sauce that we got on the wings, I think it was a mango habanero, and it definitely had a kick, but these wings might have been the best wings I've had in a while. The sauce on them was so good. I just like love a mango habanero flavor on wings. In general, I really like a sweet spicy vibe. I think that's why I love Korean food so much and why Korean food's my favorite food, because they have a lot of the sweet spicy flavor mix going on, and I just absolutely love that. So the mango habanero wings at Island Cafe, oh, I wish I had those right now. Wow, am I hungry? I think they post their schedule online, so I would definitely look up Island Cafe food truck in Raleigh so that you can check out their schedule and see where they're stopping by so that you can give them a try. The next spot on the list is an ice cream shop that I've been wanting to try for a really long time, and we actually went this past weekend. So I've been wanting to try Sugar Koi for the longest time. I think I saw them on Instagram or in my Google searching because I just like to like Google random like restaurants and like different types of food and see what comes up. I think you're probably sensing that I really love Asian foods <laughs> and Sugar Koi kind of fits into that because they have a lot of flavors that are popular here in America, but then they also have some that have more of like that Asian twist. So like they have like a matcha flavor, they have a hojicha flavor and you can get your little sundae with a little taiyaki and it was so cute and it was so delicious. So Barish got a scoop of the butter pecan and a scoop of the hojicha. And then I got a scoop of mint chocolate chip because I love mint chocolate chip. I know that's controversial. I know it's a controversial take, but I love mint chocolate chip and theirs was delicious. They also let you sample the flavors, just a little side note. They let you sample the flavors, which I love. And their mint chocolate chip was amazing. So I got a scoop of mint chocolate chip and a scoop of brownie batter and then my little taiyaki and everything was so good. And also the service was just like 10 out of 10. The people working there were so, so nice and so friendly. And I just really loved it and I can't wait to go back. We've reached the final place on the list and that is Ni Asian Kitchen. I hope that I'm saying that right. It's spelled N-I. And I am sorry if that is not the correct pronunciation but this place is so good. One thing I've noticed since moving to Raleigh from Chicago is that finding good Chinese food is a little difficult around here. I've noticed that a lot of the Chinese restaurants around here don't have the best reviews. And while that might not like mean anything in the grand like scheme of things, it just makes me a little hesitant to try places if they don't seem to be well liked. So when I saw the high, high, high reviews that Ni Asian Kitchen had, I was like, we're trying it. We've gotten lunch takeout from there a few times now. And it is so good. It is so good. And let me tell you, another great element of it is that the price is incredible. We can get lunch for two people, like lunch entrees plus spring rolls for like, I think it's like $22, $20, like what? In this economy, I'm just saying. So I have tried their sesame chicken and their orange chicken. I think I like the orange chicken better. I love orange chicken. So Obviously when I say Chinese food, I mean like very Americanized Chinese food. I'm well aware of that, but that's what we're looking for sometimes. And I love orange chicken. Their orange chicken is super good. Their fried spring rolls are incredible. Barish has tried like their Thai basil dish and he absolutely loved that. Honestly, we might get that for lunch today. It's so good. So if you're looking for a good Chinese restaurant to either get takeout from, I think they have limited eat-in hours, but it's on their website. But if you're looking for an awesome option for Chinese food, definitely check out Ni Asian Kitchen. So that is it for today's video. That is my little list of places that we've tried recently in Raleigh and Cary. I'm really glad that we branched out a little bit. Obviously we're still going to all of our favorite places, but I also love to take the opportunity to try new places, especially when they have really high reviews and they're like something a little unique, something a little different. So if you have any recommendations for the Raleigh, Durham, Cary, any area around here, any recommendations for restaurants, coffee shops, bakeries, etc., please leave them in the comments below because I would love to try them out. I will be taking more footage of all the new places we try going forward, so hopefully I'll have another video like this up for you guys soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below, sign up for my newsletter. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one.